Right, here we go. So today I'm visiting quite a remote place and quite a unique building. And Tommy has come along. So maybe we're just heading up to this place called the Pineapple. And it's named the Pineapple for reasons you're about to see soon. Okay, so there it is, there's the pineapple. This building was erected quite some time ago and originally there was huge greenhouses either side of it where they used to grow the pineapples. So I'll take you up and we'll have a closer look. But it's one beautiful looking building. Apparently you can rent this place and live in it for holidays and stuff. Wow, look at that. That is awesome, man. Totally awesome. Such a unique building. Is that 1761? I think it is. Tommy doing his taking photo taking photos thing. Okay, let's have a look inside here. Kinda of feels like there's something missing for there. Anyway, there's another reason we're up this way. We are going to visit an abandoned stately home, which is in quite a state of ruin, but still plenty there to see. So we're going to head up there. It's quite a hike from here, but once we get there, you'll be able to see it as well. begins. Yeah, it's up this way, I think. This must have been like a kind of a walled garden at some point. Or something like that. Oh man, bug just tried to fly my ear. <laughs> That's Tommy, we've been walking for about three minutes and Tommy is knackered. He's so no use to this exercise. <laughs> Somebody firing a shotgun. Don't know if you could hear that, but somebody's firing a shotgun somewhere. 
Hey? If anyone's getting shot at you, <laughs> you can be my meat shield. <laughs> Two or more pillows. Oh, that's quite cool. That's awesome, man. Oh, there it is. What's, what's going on down there? That's a shotgun. Did you see that puffy smoke there? Aye. That's somebody firing a shotgun. The puff came out for the green man, that's normal. Maybe he blew up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's where he pulled the trigger, but he's just gone. Maybe it's something to keep uh, birds away. Maybe they've just can put their crops in or something. Bombing them? <laughs> Aye. Just bomb the birds. <laughs> That'll keep them away. <laughs> So how do you get rid of your bird problem? BOMB THEM! <laughs> Just BOMB THE BIRDS! Man, I love these trees. I know, right? They're They're kinda like, it's like Jurassic looking, eh? Yeah. It's like something you would see in Jurassic, Jurassic Park. There's a wild garlic growing in there. See, punch it. It's soft. Just have faith, punch, just punch. Oh my god. <laughs> really soft, eh? That's nuts. I'm hard. Oh, I can punch you. <laughs> it's cool, eh? So fucking tough, I punch trees, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There's a really cool mausoleum up here. And there are still remains here, the coffins. Well, there should be still remains of the coffins. So, story goes, quite a lot of years ago, a whole family was uh, buried here in their personal mausoleum and cemetery. This whole area was land that belonged to the, the family, and it was uh, part of the estate for the stately home. So, this one has disappeared. This uh, cemetery. Is, uh, it was vandalised. It was vandalised a lot of years ago. And apparently local youths for the local village came up here, burst open the coffins, took the skeletons out, took the skulls, and were playing football with the skull, skulls. So the local authority came and collected the rest of the remains of the bodies, took them away, and reburied them elsewhere. Where? I don't know. So that's how the story goes, anyway. So you yeah, we're coming up on the mausoleum now. That's it there. That's the mausoleum. And it's quite dark and creepy in there, so I'm going to wait until Thomas catches up before I go in. Some of the skeletons are still there. <laughs> and wake up. Pretty nice though, but it's falling down. A shiny rock. A shiny rock. My interest. What do you think that is? It's like a, it's like a byproduct of making glass or something. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Get the Nazi. Could be worse. It could be manky slag. <laughs> I tell you that story on day. That's just that's so cool, man. Look at this random cross here. Somebody's final resting place. That's so cool. Just to see it sitting there like that. It's awesome. That's so nice. What is it? In memory, In memory of, of Anne, Anne, Anne MacDonald of Aberfeldy, who died 12th of February 1950. That's quite a recent graving. Beloved wife of William Gill, who died at Grangemouth, 4th of May 1950, also their grandson, Andrew William Gill, who died 15th of April. Well, right, guys, 
the batteries in my camera just abruptly ended but I have changed them so anyway I don't know I didn't think I lost much footage there but anyway <coughs> we're still in the mausoleum and we're just about to head off up to the stately home give you guys a look at that place which oh it's pretty awesome it's one of the best abandoned derelict stately homes I've ever seen in my life to date so it's cool in here Tom isn't it yeah. Cool, but Yui. Thomas was just saying how disrespectful it is that, you know, vandals coming in and taking the skulls off the bodies and kicking them about playing football in them. Pretty gross. Someone's been in drinking. Good old baby. Could think of better places to have a baby though. <laughs> anyway, so that is the mausoleum. In fact, before we head to this stately home, we'll have a look at the family graveyard because it is pretty ancient and neat as well sorry if uh, I try to work my phone at the same time as filming me here so anyway there we go guys the mausoleum hope you enjoyed that yeah. again you can't get around that that's side as well look at that Oh, that's uh, where the coffin handles used to be. Nice find. Aye, that's like the the brackets either side. And then you would have the handle across here for carrying the coffin. That's pretty neat, Thomas. Real spotted. Seriously. What? See the holes? Do you think they're for like fluids and stuff draining out through time? Do you think that could be a possibility? Because it's like directly behind there is is the chambers for the coffins. Mold is in them. Wow man. So the decorative iron bar. Yeah, that is what I thought that was kind of. It would be like. So peaceful here, the way. Yeah. So here we go. This is us going into the family cemetery. What's left of it? This would have probably been really quite a nice place back in the day. Wow. Whoa, look at this in here. That's one big ass chunky stain. Alexander Edward the Sixth Arrow of Dunmore. one big gravestone. Man, I'll be lucky if I even get a gravestone. Look at that. I'd like to make sure they're not forgotten. So there's what money can buy you people. Big chunky ass gravestone. <laughs> can I take it with you though? Ooh. 
you can actually see right into that. Wow. I'm not sticking my hand in there. Tommy, put your hand in there. No, I'm not going to grab it. I know you wouldn't help me. <laughs> Deep in this. Quotes for the Bible. I assume. There's a lot of these and that stuff there. Just get the nature's just taken back out here. Trees grown up through the stainwork. I know, that's nuts. And the bright sunlight. Sorry, dude. There's a grave in the back there. Oh, aye. I wonder if all that masonry came off of the, mo the mausoleum. So that mausoleum had rooms and everything above it. And it looks like a fireplace as well. A red brick fireplace up there. So somebody must have lived there. I mean, well, there's a huge hole at the side of that one. Could you see under it? You couldn't see that the hole on the other side was too too small to get a look. You can see the brickwork in that, but you couldn't see right down in it. I think someone's buried under it. Aye, should be. Let's see if I get my phone out here. Get some light into this one. Damn midges, man. Okay. <laughs> 